In this video, we will look at the digestive and respiratory systems in the pig. So uh, first, uh, we're looking at uh, here in the oral cavity at the heart palate and the soft palate. If we uh, focus uh, here with the red pen, you're going to see the epiglottis uh, that is going to uh, close the opening called the glottis. So uh, glottis is going to be right there. Just move the epiglottis um, away and that's the glottis there. And then obviously you have the tongue here. And uh, on this side, uh, you have the lingual frenulum right there um, in this pig. So tongue, lingual frenulum. And now we're going to close this uh, mouth here. Um, and we will look at the larynx. And uh, here we have the trachea. And posterior uh, to the trachea is going to be the esophagus right here. So both the trachea and esophagus, as you can see, go uh, down here. And so the trachea actually ends here and splits into main bronchi. So you can see uh, this is the, um, the right main bronchus. Um, and you can see it less well, but here's the left main bronchus. Um, also in this area, uh, there are salivary glands. So there are two, three pairs of salivary glands, as you can see. Um, so if we turn the head a little bit to the side, like so, uh, we're going to see the uh, parotid uh, gland. Uh, this is going to be here with the green pin right here, uh, the parotid, uh, parotid gland, and then uh, here we're going to have submandibular gland with the blue pin, and then the somewhat smaller is going to be the sublingual gland. Um, and so uh, notice that this is all paired. So if we look on this side, um, we also see uh, right here the parotid, the submandibular, and uh, there's sublingual there on this side as well. Now moving uh, here, uh, so obviously the lungs, uh, notice that the heart uh, is removed. So this is the heart. The heart would be sitting here like so, so that's removed. Um, here we have now a good view of the diaphragm right here. Um, and then uh, below the diaphragm, you have the abdominal cavity. So up here, this is all thoracic cavity here and then here is abdominal cavity so the large organ here is the liver so uh, liver has uh, several lobes in the pig and um, if we um, also here below the liver you see this is the spleen which we previously looked at so we're going to reflect this right that and uh, now we're going to look here um, just uh, reflecting the liver a little bit. Um, so just caudal, caudal to the liver is going to be the stomach here. Um, in the stomach, there are several parts we can see uh, that are labeled. And so, um, so we have the cardial part here with, with the red pin right there. Uh, this is where the esophagus is going to join the stomach. And then uh, with a blue pin right next to it. Uh, it's going to be the fundus of the stomach. Uh, the yellow pin shows the body of the stomach. And then moving this a little bit. Uh, here with the white pin, um, we have the pyloric part of the stomach. And then with the black pin, uh, which is right here, uh, this is the pylorus, and inside of this bulge right here uh, that I am touching right now uh, is going to be the pyloric sphincter, um, separating the stomach from the small intestine. Now moving to the small intestine, the part of the small intestine immediately uh, joining the stomach. Here with this green pin is called the duodenum. 
uh, and right next to the duodenum and sort of um, below the stomach, um, you see right here, this is the pancreas. This is the glandular tissue here, pancreas gland. Um, so that's right next to duodenum and stomach. And then uh, most of the small intestine is here, uh, all of this part here. Uh, this is the jejunum. And then the small intestine ends with the ileum. This is right here with red. Um, and ileum uh, joins the large intestine at the ileocecal valve. You can see here, uh, shown with this uh, blue pen here. So here's ileocecal valve. Uh, and so this is inside of a structure of the large intestine that is called the cecum. So this is the, the cecum of the large intestine is right here. And ileocecal valve is the uh, joining of the small intestine, ileum of the small intestine to the cecum of the large intestine. Then uh, following the cecum, the large intestine continues here. In the pig, um, this is uh, called the spiral colon um, of the large intestine. And notice that this will be different in a human because in humans, uh, large intestine structures uh, is not the same. And we will see that in the model. But in the pig, this is the large intestine called, in this, called the spiral colon. And then the spiral colon uh, continues uh, to become the rectum. So rectum is shown here with white pen. Um, and that's the way for the uh, fecal masses to go um, outside uh, into the anus, uh, which we will um, uh, which we will see right here, uh, right there. Okay. Um, now, um, here, right uh, between the lobes and under the liver, we also see right here with this this pen, uh, we see the um, uh, the gallbladder. Um, and from the gallbladder, uh, you will notice there is a duct right here. Uh, this is the... So this is the hepatic duct. Uh, that then, uh, over here, you see there is a joining with the hepatic duct that goes from the liver. And then these form the bile duct uh, uh, as they join. Okay, so again, uh, cystic duct, hepatic duct, and then uh, the, after they join, it's a bile duct. And so just to put this in perspective, uh, because there's some differences between pigs and humans, so here we can see the same structures all in the humans. Um, and so especially uh, you know, for the digestive system, um, so you can see uh, here the small intestine. Uh, you can see the large intestine. So you see in, if we, in humans, uh, you have three colons. Um, so you have the um, ascending, transverse, you have ascending, transverse, and descending colons uh, of the large intestine. And then here's the small intestine. Um, and then... If we, so here's the liver, uh, we can actually remove this. And then on this side of the liver, you can see the gallbladder. You can see the hepatic duct and uh, hepatic duct, cystic duct, and then the bile duct. Um, so here's the stomach. Again, you can see, uh, uh, so there's the stomach. And then here's the pancreas, pancreatic duct. Oops. And so this this uh, this is the transverse colon that goes like this, um, and then if we remove this small intestine here, uh, you're actually going to see this uh, sigmoid colon uh, right here, 
uh, and that sigmoid colon uh, goes into the recto, uh, rectus right here. This is the rectum uh, right there. 